scored 104 times 2015 16 17 and now in 22 i ended up joining this mba rat race 2009 was my first attempt which was in my final year of engineering a lot of people get burnt out before before the exam i did uh, my undergrad engineering from 2006 to 10 and at the time like most people i like, didn't know what i wanted to do i ended up joining this mba rat race basically at the time uh, there was an intention to do an mba uh so 2009 was my first attempt which was in my final year of engineering uh that time i scored 99.83 Uh, i missed 2010 so basically i had some back papers in engineering i was clearing those uh, i took 5 years to finish it um somewhere along the way i i think 2011 i started working my first job which i quit after 7 months and then i switched careers and, and got into training aptitude training i enjoyed it that's the thing so that's when i decided that this is something i'm at least going to do for some time to see whether i'll continue enjoying it uh and and i kept writing cat because uh, it's it's a matter of staying in shape you know uh, building your credibility as a trainer as well uh i dropped the mba plan uh, but i kept writing gat that's basically what happened i didn't get into gat training itself until 2015 so i started in 2012 i was teaching at an it finishing school so after engineering uh, a lot of these kids who go to those uh, lower tier uh, private colleges they might not get campus placement uh so there is this uh there is this uh, it finishing school inside techno park trivandrum where uh, some of these kids join and they teach uh, database programming languages a whole bunch of things that would increase your chance of getting placed in 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 an it job and as part of that process they have to write a aptitude test in the beginning and i was training for the aptitude side of things so that's when it started this was mid 2012 uh and i did it for close to 2 years um i think 2014 beginning <clears throat> i decided that i wanted a small uh, change in environment i applied to work at byjus uh, there i was teaching iit foundation math for 9th and 10th standard students this again was about uh, a year and then in 2015 i started teaching uh, one on one for the cat exam so this was pre zoom i was using skype <laughs> one memories of skype uh and uh, i first couple of years i did not teach any batches my intention was uh, you know you want more experience so it, it's not very easy to get uh, you know 30 60 100 students when you're starting out uh so whatever students i got i want to teach them one on one so that i can teach the same chapters over and over again uh so that's what i did for two years 2017 i started my institute uh, and uh, i normally do two batches of 20 a year uh this first year 2017 and this uh, just concluded year i did only one batch of 20 so that's that's been the journey i've uh, done cat coaching uh with, with my institute uh in for cat 2017 to 22 six years in which i've done 10 batches total 200 students much better than average i have uh, so 20 22 process is still ongoing right till 21 17 to 21 uh, i had 180 students and out of this 180 students i think 32 have gotten into either top 10 or some iim so including the new and baby iims out of the 20 students uh, six of them have cleared 90 Three of them have cleared ninety-five, and this includes one person who got ninety-eight and one person who got ninety-nine. First wrote in two thousand nine as a final year student. This was the year that CAD went online. I have written every year since, except two thousand ten. Two thousand ten was the year when I was, uh, you know, I was uh, a little 
otherwise engaged with my back papers so i didn't write because at the time uh, the intention was to get into an mba so i didn't see the point until i finish my <laughs> undergrad papers uh in 2012 onwards it has been with the intention of demonstrating my credit credibility as a aptitude trainer i scored 104 times 2015 16 17 and now in 22 no uh the lowest it has gone is 96 in 2013 and i like to tell this story to my students to uh, illustrate the importance of you know staying in shape as opposed to just acquiring the knowledge uh 2012 i scored 99.96 which is the first time i uh, exceeded 99.9 so i clearly had the knowledge but then 2013 is the one year where i simply wrote it without writing any mock cats that year so i i wasn't prepared right so this is this is something that everybody needs to understand about exams like this knowledge by itself will not give you anything you need to build the skills and you need to keep training to retain those skills right it's kind of like fitness like just because you have worked out for uh, let's say 3 years and you've gotten into shape even if you stop working out for the next 6 months you'll you'll start going out of shape right so same thing i i didn't write mocks in uh, in 2013 at all and uh, the it, the result was evident when i wrote cat a lot of people get burnt out before before the exam they are they are uh, putting in too much effort in, earlier in the year that they get sick and tired of you know aptitude training uh, let's say a month before uh, cat which happens in november end and it's sad that you will then see their performance dipping at the the most crucial time so this happens the other thing is uh, you want to understand that as i said already it is not just knowledge it's about the skills right skills are what will help you score in real time under this time pressure right uh, so if you if you've seen the marks versus percentile uh, curve or table for cat exams recently and especially last year last year i have not i don't have detailed information i have some numbers 99 percentile was i think 83 marks 95 was somewhere between 60 and 65 i think 63 ish uh, scale score 90 percentile was 49 and you know that the paper is out of 198 marks now so 90 percentile which is good enough to get into some top 40 uh, b school a respectable b school which will give you a respectable uh, you know b schools which will have a pretty decent Uh, median uh, figures right now for that you need around 90 uh it's it's only 1/4 of the total this is uh, ridiculous i mean <laughs> you also have to understand that a lot of people don't know these facts going into the exam right i I've, i've had a lot of enquiries in the last few days and uh, so i've asked them about uh, you know some of them have written cat 22 and i asked them going into the exam did you know uh, what score Uh, you know converted to what percentile from the previous year cat 2021 and a lot of people didn't know so uh, there is no uh, how do you explain it the people are not doing enough relevant research about the challenge that they are undertaking so this is one issue you have